Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Be inspired by using this channel. I am creating educational videos based on the subject max. Along with the educational videos, I am creating some puzzles in mathematics only. And along with the puzzles, I am creating some fast calculation mathematics tips. By so by observing those videos, you can able to do the max in a very fast way. So please go through my channel. Please share, like, subscribe my channel. Hi viewers, I think you all know about this. You are by seeing this, you can able to understand that there are two pie graphs. There are all these are pie graphs, and here we are able to see two things. That is, Kuvera and Upstrokes. Kuvera and Upstrokes are nothing but mobile apps, and Kuvera both are online platforms. For uh, Kuvera is an online platform for mutual funds in India. It is operated by Arvik. Advisory Company, Advisory Services Private Limited, company which is headquartered in Bangalore, and Kuvera positions itself as a wealth management platform for individual investors and offers investment in direct mutual funds without any fees or commissions. So, based on this, you all can, if you want to invest in mutual funds, you can go through this mobile app Kuvera. And one more mobile app I am using here is Upstocks and it is also known as RKSV and this RKSV is uh, changed, the, they changed the name into Upstocks. It is one of the India's fastest growing retail broking firms and this company is going to allow direct retail investors directly we can invest in by using this mobile app. RKSV known by the brand name Upstocks, it is one of the India's fastest growing retail broking firms. The company allows retail investors in India to invest in stocks futures, options, currencies and commodities at lower rates compared to traditional full service brokers. So when compared to other service brokers, it is going to take in the lowest rate, not only in stocks, futures and options and currencies and commodities also. And it is headquartered in Bombay. It holds its membership with NSC, BSC, MCX and MCXSX. It has different types of uh, memberships with them. And abstract suit of products include a mobile trading app, Mutual funds investments in Upstocks, you can invest by using this Upstocks, you can invest this tra mobile trading app as well as mutual funds also you can invest and a platform for desktop trading tra platforms, strategy builders and brokerage and margin calculators. Upstocks offers a paperless DMAT account opening and trading platform. Traders can trade in intraday or, intraday or commodities or FNO currencies on the Upstocks. By using this Upstocks, you, you people can even trade like intraday commodities these are the different varieties of trades which you can do by using this abstracts so abstracts is providing all these varieties with very less brokerage firms when compared to the others it is going to provide with very less amount so this is about abstracts and kuvera a brief description of this so coming to this pie graph you are able to see all the pie graphs only so this pie graph is going to explain that this is the amount invested. I already invested in this. So 40.6% 40 I invested in Kuvera and whereas 59.4% I invested in Upstocks. That's what this pie chart is saying about. And coming to this second pie chart and it is explaining that three things. One is ETF, stocks and mutual funds. ETF and stocks we can able to see in Upstocks whereas mutual funds you have to see in Kuvera. So I invested highest amount in ETF that is 56.5%. And second highest amount I invested in mutual funds that is 40.6% and the least I invested in stocks that is 2.9%. This is what the pie graph is explaining. And coming to the third pie graph, it is explaining about asset allocation. It is explaining about asset allocation. So the highest amount I invested in equities that is 90.1%. Equities include ETF, uh, stocks and mutual funds. Whereas bonds are separate, these are in this I invested 9.9% amount. So coming to this second term, these all these are bar graphs only. So this pie chart is explaining that how much I invested and this bar graph is explaining that how much percentage of profit I earned in this from my starting of the investment. So the highest profit I earned from my starting is 25.54% in upstock and the second highest profit I got in 18.72% in Kuvera. And coming to this second bar graph, it is explaining about three things that is ETF, stocks and mutual funds and the highest profit I earned in ETF that is 25.77%. The second highest amount, the second highest profit I earned in stocks that is 
21.20% and the least highest uh, profit I earned in mutual funds that is 18.72% and coming to this third one it is explaining about asset allocation it has only two things one is equities and bonds and the highest amount the highest profit I earned is 25.08% least profit I earned in bonds that is 1.80% that's what the three graphs are saying this is saying about mobile app this bar graph is explaining about investor vehicle and this bar graph is, is explaining about asset allocation coming to this see here you are able to see all the red colors here so what is this red color and what is this these are also bar graphs only all are in a negative side that is uh, in loss just this is uh, say explaining about from august 29th to september 5th means from last saturday to this saturday one week so from the last one week by seeing this we can easily understand that the stock market is in loss when compared to the previous week so it is uh, explaining that i got highest loss in upstocks that is minus 3.88 percent and i got uh, loss in Kuvera that is also least loss when compared to upstocks that is 1.69 percent and this is about your breakdown by mobile app and coming to this breakdown by investor vehicle so i got uh, very highest loss i got in etf that is 3.96 percent second highest loss i got in stocks that is 2.17 percent the least loss i got in mutual funds that is 1.69 percent and this bar graph is explaining here two things asset allocation we have equities and bonds compared to equities we got profit in bonds that is 0.41 percent whereas in equities we got highest loss that is 3.33 percent now we'll just compare this since invested from mobile app to mobile app this is profit percentage and this is the amount i invested so by comparing these two things you can understand easily understand that the amount the highest amount i invested in upstocks that is 59.4 percent in the same way i got highest profit in upstocks that is 25.54 percent and the least amount i invested in kuvera that is 40.6 percent and the least profit i earned in kuvera that is 18.72 percent this is about by comparing these two graphs and coming to these two graphs like invested based on the invested vehicle so the highest amount i invested in etf in the same way i got highest profit in etf only that is 25.77 percent and the least amount i invested in stocks that is 2.9 percent but whereas i got second highest profit that is 21.20 percent in stocks the second highest I invested in mutual funds that is 40.6% but whereas I got least profit in mutual funds that is 18.72% and coming to this graph this is asset allocation equities and bonds so in this the highest amount I invested in equities that is 90.1% in the same way I got highest profit in equities only that is 25.08% and in the same way least profit uh, least amount i invested in bonds that is 9.99% and the least profit i earned in bonds only 1.80% so by observing this the way i invested is it correct except the stocks because least i invested in stocks but whereas here it is the second highest position i got profit in stocks why we got uh, why this week share market was down because of two reasons one is uh, global market was down and the other reason is there is a war between the like uh, war situation between india and china based on these two reasons our share market was down stay home stay healthy if necessary only please come outside while coming out wear your mask and come maintain social distance try to avoid try to avoid public group crowded places thank you thank you for watching so in this i just explained about the retirement portfolio of this so i just invested in two things that is two mobile apps only i'm using you have uh, so many things but before starting your investment compulsory everyone has to open your dmat account right now it is free so anyone can open and without paying any fee for the dmat account you just has to fill your basic details of yours and your address proof they require based on these details you can just fill your you you will just fill the form and you'll, your dmat account is going to open 
and by that you can start investing thank you thank you for watching